after inserting all the crew and resource information, I will need to update this information. We will do this step to take control over our resources and also to combine resource information that are similar. So we have carpenters working on two tasks. Now, after doing this step, the software will know that this is the same carpenter here and there. So once I click on update resources, it will show me a list of resources registered for this task in the quantity takeoff. And there you go. But another better way of doing this is by updating all the resources at once rather than updating them for each task individually. So the way we do this is to go through spreadsheet menu and select resource registry. And below you'll find an update resources from quantities button. Click on it and it will show you all the resources registered for all your tasks. Now make sure that none of these resources are duplicated. You see here we have labor is duplicated twice. The reason why this is duplicated is that labor originally appeared in three tasks, two of which al yahar carpenters are responsible of and one of which we are responsible of, civil contracting. So labor is, appears three times. And because of that, software thinks that there, there are two types of labors, one which is supplied by al yahar and one supplied by us which is not true. We will correct this in a while. We'll click next now and we'll make sure that all these resources applies to these four tasks. Click next. Okay. And there you go. And as what we just said, the software thinks that labors for civil 450 contracting is different for labors for Al-Yahar Carpenters. Um, we will correct this in a while. To correct this, we'll go back to each task and we will make sure that the supplier of each resource is specified correctly. So as for the foreman, it's supplied from al Carpenters, which is right. But we have here the labor and the equipment operators are not supplied from al -Yahar. They are rather supplied by Civil 540. So I'll correct these two and click OK. And I will do the same thing for all the tasks. This is all correct. So I'll leave it as is. Mechanical pipes. We have the beginner plumper is supplied by Civil 540. So I'll change this. And finally, with the form work for the column, uh, we have a labor. But notice here we've missed someone. We should have had four resources, but we are only having three. A very common mistake that causes this is that we have mistakenly specified a human resource unit as something other than ours. So you see the, the equipment operator should have had a unit of hours, but we mistakenly selected meter squared. Whenever you do corrections, you need to go again to the resource registry and update again the quantities. Click next, next, and there you go. The equipment operator has been just added to al -Yahar Carpenters. I'll go back and check again, double click. Now you'll find your equipment operators there. And as such, under the resource registry, you could find a list of all your suppliers as well as their human resources. But still you would see here that labor is duplicated under civil 540 contracting. And the reason why this is duplicated because I have mistakenly specified different unit costs for each of those. And that's why it's thinking that this labor is of a different type from this labor. I need to go to the quantity takeoff again. I'm referring to these two labors, this one and this one. Notice that they are given different codes. I will select one of them 
and I will re-enter this information to assert to the software that I am referring to the same labor type. So I'll write down two, write his name again, labor. Make sure you use the same code in here. And write down again the same uh, quantity per unit. And the unit cost has to be the same, which is seven dirhams. And delete this row. Okay. And make sure you don't forget to to denote him as a task driver. Click OK. Now we'll go update the resources again from quantities and uh, click next. So now you would see that this labor, and again I will need to correct this information from here. I rewrite the labor. Labor 0.51 hours. Okay, and I will delete this row. Delete. So now all the labors in the list has the same code, except this one. And now all the labels that I am using have a unified spelling as well as a unified code. That's why it's always a good practice to, to, to start coding any resource that you use in your uh, schedule. That will ease tracing uh, resource types. So now we go to resource registry again, update resources. So now the duplication has been removed. We only have one label. But the software seems to be still confused and it's showing that labor has a zero, zero unit cost. We need to correct this in a while. We go next, next, yeah, and we we'll correct this in here. It showed the zero unit in, in, a, in a red cell, so we'll correct this and we'll, we'll correct this and we'll specify that labor's unit cost is seven dirhams and click yes. Okay. Again here, if labor is still showing under two suppliers, we need to recheck all the tasks and to make sure that all the information specified as we intended. We only intend to have labor supplied by civil 540. See, the error is here. Labor is specified to be supplied by a lehar, which is not correct. We'll correct this. And finally, everything should be resolved. Updating resources from quantities in Vico software could be very tricky and sometimes very confusing. But what I recommend to overcome these issues is to make sure that any labor type is spelled consistently along wherever tasks it is used. And also the code is given consistently to the same labor type wherever it is used. And also the unit cost should be consistent. And Additional to that, you need to make sure in each task that you have specified the labor type from the particular supplier that you intend to supply this labor. Um, if you go through this video, I, I've, I've demonstrated an iterations of how to resolve this. I hope this helps. Thank you.